What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the King's Mafia's channel. Yo, y'all already know why we here. We got some gameplay for y'all. But before we get to that, I just want you to make sure that we stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 11 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, for those of y'all that haven't done it yet, make sure that you guys subscribe, click that button, and y'all already know how we're going to get to doing it. All right? We came out today with some gameplay for you guys involving Marcus Allen, involving Mr. Patty Mahomes, and it was just a oh loud brawl with this guy. You guys already know how we do. We run to set up the pass, all right? That's how it was done old school back in the 90s, back in the early 2000s. We would always run to set up the pass, right? You always had to catch him by surprise. You got to keep him off guard, right? Now, we've been labbing a new defense with the 4-3, putting in our coverage linebackers where they're supposed to go, obviously. And we've just been trying. We've been trying. You know, we've been tried. And right there, we were tried. We came out in a man coverage and obviously Randy Moss over the top on our left outside linebacker, Fred Warner. You guys already know that's an automatic mismatch. Where my safety was, I have no idea, but guys, we, we, we get to fix it. All right, we start fixing things exactly how they're supposed to go. Now we start moving, we start making our moves, we start doing exactly how we're supposed to do. Marcus Allen, for me, he, he 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 was he was a goon. He could have got it, you know. He could have got it. He was a goon, right? He made the moves when he was when the moves are supposed to be made, but he also fumbled when we didn't have time or we couldn't afford a mistake, right? And for that, for that, we decided to basically play a couple games with Marcus Allen. Test him out, see how see what the moves is gonna be. And at the end of the day, we decided that Marcus Adam was not the right fit for us, right? Simply because his carrying is the same carrying as Garrison Hurst, right? At a 93. And if you're gonna be an ultimate legend running back, I'm not expecting you to be with a 93 carry. Because I'm expecting you to be 95 and above. And not only that, but if you're gonna be high i mean low 90s like that i'm gonna expect you not to not fumble i'm gonna expect you to not get stripped because when things like that happen when you get stripped you end up changing the whole momentum of the game things start happening you know this is no bueno this is no bueno now why i didn't throw that pass to alma kamara i would never know we're going through the air we're going we're going to the air you guys we're making these moves we're, we're seeing how it works we're seeing how we can get open and we're trying to use the defense's aggressiveness against them and for us, right? Now, this guy, he came out wanting to do all sorts of things, but we got the moves, right? We got the moves, right, y'all? I'm just, I'm just saying, score seven, seven, we got the moves. You put yourself in a soft squat, it's gonna be a wrap, all right? Oh, that's all I'm saying. Put yourself in a soft squat, my man, and this is gonna be a wrap. All right, here we go. Bam, bam. We in cloud flats, right? Bam. He probably quick hiked. He probably quick hiked it. He probably was trying to get the playoff. I don't know, but when you make a mistake like that against me, you end up paying the price, and you end up paying the price pretty heavily. You know. Now, what I was saying, Marcus Allen <clears throat> was a goon for me. He played good. It's just his fumbles. And when he would fumble, it just wasn't in accordance to me. I just couldn't have that. I couldn't have that on my team. So it just, it wasn't going to work. So obviously, you know, we, we brought him in. I had, I, I, you know, it, it, like he was crying and this, that, and the other said that he only wanted to play for us. And it was just, you know, it was, it was, it was yeah, I was like, hey man, look, listen, man, I don't, I'm not here for all that. You know, this is a strictly business. All right, bro. All right, bro. So we brought him in, powered him all the way down. We're sticking with Garrison Hurst until they come out with either Ladanian or when they, until they come out with a really, really, really glitchy back. They might just come out with Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders. They might come out with Ultimate Legend or Walter Payton. Because remember, the last card that they came out for Walter Payton was 95 overall. For Barry Sanders, same exact thing. So we might just get glitchy with Barry and Walter. We don't know. 
we are waiting for LT to show his face in our backfield because once he does, we might just stick with him for the rest of the for the rest of the year, depending on his stats. Right? We are still missing a lot of running backs this year. We are still missing. Uh, we already got the upgrade from our first of all. Hold up. Give me one. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just see that? Are you serious? Tredavious White, the best cover corner in the game, besides Deion Sanders. And that's how it's going to go down? <clears throat> Excuse me? I had to clean my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me? Again, Marcus Hattis a goon. Takes it to the house. Takes it to the house. No questions asked. Right? Now, first of all, let's go back to that play with, with Randy Moss. You know, for some reason, against Tredavious White, I don't know what was going on. Right? Against Tredavious White, I don't know what was going on. It's like for, for it's like in, in games, there's games where Randy Moss is coverable, and then there's games where Randy Moss is like uncoverable. No matter who you have on him, it it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like Stephen A. Smith, it doesn't matter. Skip, it doesn't matter. Right? So it's like, yo, what's going on, bro? You know, we got we got to fix this out sooner or later. He's just dropping all the way back, trying to do all kinds of foolishness with Vic, but that don't work with us. You run the four three. It has a it does a really good job out of the four three, especially cover three containing quarterbacks like Michael Vick. Especially if you're able to move your line over, and especially in the three four when you're able to spread your linebackers out. Now, the four three normal and the three four odd really do really does work. And why Antonio Camardi did not pick that ball off when I clicked on and I wanted to go move in front of him, but you know how they give you that stupid little animation where you go to slide over, and it's like. They just put one butt cheek in one hand and another butt cheek in the other hand. And it's like, yo, just squeeze it for me real quick. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. They moved him over and gave him, gave him an, a pick animation where there was no pick. Now, I understand if you give me that animation and there's a pick happening. But, bro, if there's no pick happening, don't give me that animation. Let me push. Let me fight my way through the receiver to get to the ball. Right? Hey, I'm just saying. Fumble. All right? Fumble. Now, he's going to try to get glitchy here with Michael Vick. He's on fourth and one. He's going to try it. But you know what? We got that new T coming through. We got that new T, yo. I'm just saying. We got that new T. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. That's a dot. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I don't even know what to say to that. He just dotted it up. Like, I don't know where he's going with that. Oh, that's where he's going. I gotta, I gotta stop trying to hit stick. Like I, I'm just gonna start going for like regular tackles, to be honest. Like I'm really just gonna start going for regular tackles. All that jazz about hit sticking and he just swerved all the way, making me do like a fool. Is it ain't working for me? All right. Second quarter, two minutes left. Draws back with Michael Vick. Hits the pocket, bam, right into the face. Who is that? John Randall. Randall. Para que lo, para que no saben, John Randall. Okay. He's trying it, man. He's trying to get into this end zone. He wants to tie this game up. But we don't give up easily. This defense is hardwired. We build a wall. We build walls out here. All right? I'm not talking about, you know, no no president thing. I'm talking about, like, you know, remember the Giants? You remember that, you remember that movie, Facing the Giants? A wall, give me a wall. Yeah. That's what we're talking about over here. He's going to try to get this again. He's going to try to go around. He's going to try it, but it ain't working. He's going to try it, but it ain't working. He's gonna, this is why we got him. This is why we got him. This is why we got him. This is why we get Brian Erlacher. This is why you get Brian Erlacher. For things like that. For things like that. That's why you get BG. This is what you want to get busy. I should have kind of juked, honestly, instead of like spinning. I should have juked instead of spinning. But that's where you get Brian Erlacher. Brian Erlacher in this game, for some reason, at 91 speed, is a goon. Because he's able to he's able to catch Michael Big in the backfield, right? But at the same time, he's, he's able to securely tackle everybody, right? Now, he has, he has his moments where he dumps out, but that's also every other quarterback. He gave me a scare, bro, right there. I thought he, I thought I was legitimately going to like either fumble or like get sacked right behind the, the goal line. Pump return. Pump, pump return. Where you going? Nowhere. Oh, yeah. Right out to, right out to the sideline. Click, click, click. Right? I don't know. Anyways. He's trying to hard. It's the second quarter. It's about it's about to be going to the third quarter. He's trying to tie this game up. He had that guy going right over the top. I don't know why he didn't throw it to him instead. I guess he just got scared. It was part of the angle that he was looking at it. He was like, nah, that looks like it's that looks like it's not gonna make it. He keeps trying to roll out to his right. 
But when you watch, you know, when you play, when you've played football in your life and you've watched a lot of Madden and, you know, you participated in a lot, a lot of Manny, Madden things, you know, you, 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 you catch up on a couple of things. You feel me? All I'm saying is that you catch up on a lot of things, right? This guy was trying it and he was trying it hard. He was trying so hard to, like, I don't know where he was going with that. I guess he just, was it a sack? I don't know. I guess it was a sack. I don't know. He was trying to avoid it. I don't know. Anyways. The ball is mine. So, ping, ping, lean one way, go the other. But this is what, like, the thing about Marcus Allen, he can be really, he, he, like, when you get him in open space, when there's at least two, three yards of separation between you and the defender in front of you, he's able to do really, really glitchy, really glitchy things. I'm just saying, you know, really glitchy things. Like, he's able to get in backfields. He's able to do what he got to do. But when it's inside the hole, right it's a whole nother bow game with this man like yo marcus what are we doing here bam 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 look at that oh look at that he's glitchy but the thing about it is that he fumbles he's he's fumbled for me and you're gonna see that coming up that like, he's just gonna like fumble. i'm pretty sure it's this one that he fumbles like it, I, I i i just I, I didn't know what to say and what the hell are you doing that's a 99 overall quarterback for you guys. A 99 overall quarterback. Just throwing it in the dirt. Who's known for throwing across his body? Just throwing it in the dirt. I don't know who. I don't know what. I don't know what, what kind of version of Patrick Mahomes is it that EA had for them to be able to do things like that. But my goodness, Antonio Cromartie coming in clutch. That was that was Antonio Cromartie for those of that didn't know. Right? We are trying to make it. Watch. Oh, no, it wasn't here. I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to fumble. He, he does good. I'm telling you, it, it, he's not a bad card, but it's just that if you guys can get him, and for example, if you have Raiders cam, and you, right, and you're able to, or you have Kansas City cam, and you're able to get his carrying up, he might be a glitch for you guys. But for me on the team where I don't run a Kansas City theme team, and I just don't run Oakland Raiders theme team, it's just not going to work. Julio Jones with the burn. Julio Jones with the burn. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That sounds about right, right? I nah, know, just saying. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it, y'all. So, <laughs> where are you going with that? I don't know. I just thought I, it looked like he was gonna do something with that, and then I just had to like really catch myself really quick and be like, huh? But why? You know? Anyways, pink, pink. Here we go. Ooh, where are you going? Ah, no, over there. Hey, ah, oh, put your ankles, dude. I'm just. Again, really glitchy card. Kansas City Raider theme team would be an amazing card. But for me, I just can't. It's just I played I played a couple games with him. He fumbled for me. I guess I guess it wasn't this game. It it just it just wasn't working, y'all. Yeah. You know? It just wasn't working for me. We are gonna become Jesus. Thank God he picked it up. We are going to be coming out with some more gameplay. We have a lot of new players on the team for you guys. We're going to be coming out with these. We recently are getting rid of a. We are going to get rid of a player that is just not putting in work and cost me a trip to the Super Bowl. Coming up next, all right. Like always, guys. You guys can always like the videos, subscribe to the videos, follow the channel, follow the Kings Mafia because you already know that when we put in work, we put in work. Guys, I want to thank y'all for coming through. You guys have been a godsend. Thank you guys. Comment, like, subscribe down to the channel. Like always, glory to the kingdom, y'all. Peace.